Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Dog coming to you from somewhere in this world, and we're back to continue our playthrough of Phoenix Point, the year one edition. And we didn't we can just smell the ending. It's almost there. Uh, but in the meantime, we have a haven being attacked, and we're gonna see if we can't help them out attacking force 17, defending force one. We barely made it in time. In fact, our second ship we were trying to get down here. We can't wait for it. We gotta go in. Uh, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. Um, whoops, we don't want to do it that way. Let's go right here. Deploy. The daytime threat level, uh, or daytime light level, extreme threat level. And uh, we're going in there to get some rewards and defend and experience and all that good stuff that goes along with it as we wait for the ending mission to get ready to go. So uh, here's our team that's going to be going out. Nikolai, let's go just hop in here and make sure there's no SP that we need to divvy up or, uh, heaven forbid, any weapons at this point that we need to uh, equip in any way, shape, or form. But we've, we've, we've got some good ones. In fact, probably the best thing we could see because we've got the grenade. Yeah, we've got the ancient grenade launcher. So... Yeah, there's not a lot of other ancient type weapons we can we can equip you with. Uh, Joe Murata, I am thinking of upgrading your shotgun, but right now we only have one of the new ancient shotguns built, and I'm going to get you the next one that comes off the production line. We're going to give you a little bit of strength. Uh, Sade, we're going to give you a little bit of strength. Otherwise, we're looking good. Ravi Zasa, ancient weapons abound on this team. Isn't that good? We're going to give you a little extra strength, Ravi Zasa. Sigourney Weaver, nothing to spend on you. Um, you have the acid cannon along with a shard gun. So you can pack a punch. And you, Takeda, you're the one. You, you actually are the stickmeister guy. Uh, but just in case, guess what we're going to do? We're also going to give you... We're all gonna, also going to have you pack a shotgun on top of everything else. So get rid of that grenade and you're equipped just fine there. So there is the team going out try and protect this haven we'll see you down there all items on this battlefield are automatically recovered just as a note all right this is where we are looks like we have to protect this one big thing on this particular mission is what it's looking like and we see a couple Pandorans right off the bat, which is always a nice thing in my book. Uh, let's take a look and we'll see where they are. We got an Arthron over here and kind of underneath us in the op whole opposite direction. We have, if we can find him, to the right level here. Here, he's down in this corner, down pretty low. And what is he sporting? He is sporting. Sporting a uh, Sinidrian Neural Pistol. So he's going to try freezing us up. He does have Pain Chameleon. Of course, he has a Neural Pistol, Neural Rifle, and Neural Arms, I'm sure. Yeah, he's, he's all paralyzing all the time is what he is. And that's that's not a welcome, a welcome thing to have happen on a Haven defense. Uh, the other guy, let's go just take a peek at him while we can and, and just cringe over their abilities here in this late game <laughs> isn't, isn't that the most fun thing to do launches acid grenades who baby uh and an evolved pincer so 200 hit points he's our easiest of our targets the question uh, the, the the question or problem is they're both tucked away pretty dang well um what we're going to see about doing i'm thinking um does anybody back here have sight on this guy down here? Yeah, possibly we do. Let's go see what that shot looks like. Well, it's not a bad one, except we can't focus on that pain chameleon. So uh, the problem with this shot is it's not a guarantee to take out the pain chameleon in any way, shape, or form. <sighs> That's a yikeser. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we are going to, just in case, we are going to uh, quick aim. And we're going to give it a try, trying to keep him from disappearing. Because I don't need a loose paralyzer running around out there. Okay, we've got it focused on the torso. Let's see if we can do it. 
We got his head, so he's gonna disappear. It's pretty dang good damage. We might have to try seeing about getting someone down here to 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 find out where he ran off to. And he, he was down in his room, and he sure does not seem to be down in his room anymore whatsoever. Yeah, I'm playing the hunt and hunt, seek and hide, seek and hide, hide and seek, whatever you want to call this game, to find out where he ran off to, to find out where he disappeared to, and there's nothing super nearby. So he, he looks like he jumped over the edge, and he's hiding down there. And we'll see if we can get somebody down there, perhaps, to give us a better look. Um, what have we got here, Sade? You, you've got a little, you've got a little speed with you. Let's let's get you here first. And we have another enemy spotted. This is outdoors. And what is this? This thing shoot probably some kind of explosive at this point in the game, I would guess. No, just multiple poison worms. Your garden variety poison worm. We just can't get too close to him. So he's not a, he's not an immediate an immediate target. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the smooth operator straight here, and uh, we're gonna see if we can finish off the job. It's a nice shotgun blast. There we go. I did not feel like getting paralyzed. Now we can uh, put our focus over on uh, the well-hidden Arthron over here and then probably set a fair amount of overwatch. You can't see him. You can see him. And that would give us four potential shots. Let's just go see what the shot is with four potential shots. It's not amazing. Um, but at 50-50 with four tries getting into that acid launcher arm, um, let's go for it. Didn't look good. That looked good. We dazed him on top of that too. Went a little high. And I think he's a bleeding out. Yep. So we did our job on the known targets. Now we've got to do two things. We've got to uh, locate some Anu soldiers that we can unlock. And uh, since we can, and we know about a big guy, let's boom blast. And start dealing some damage over here. <clears throat> Gotta love that rebuke sound as the as it flies through the air. It's grenade that it shoots. We've already disabled the head. Uh, we do have a I rocket in this case, and we're going to use it. On it. Because we know of nothing else out there, so this is what we're, we're, we're going to damage what we can. And we also got one of his stomper legs knocked out. Uh, nobody else can see it. We do have you, Sigourney Weaver. Um... There's no wall over this side, so you're standing pretty exposed if we bring you out there. What we could do, well, that's not even corner cover. Uh, but I'm not sensing there's an enemy down here, so let's just bring you to the edge to get ready for a shot down there. Because he's a big guy, so you don't have to be exactly right up next to him. Oh, we found somebody else. What's he? What's this guy wielding? They have small potatoes compared to compared to what we're used to. The difference is he is a tar shadow. So if we can possibly get rid of that gun and then just kind of get him bleeding somehow, that would not be a, a bad thing. Uh, so let's keep our movement going. Uh, Sigourney, we're bringing you over here. 
And we're getting sight of a nut. Oops, that's the same one over there. There's two of these guys over here. What's the guy in the back wielding? Ooh, we don't like virus rifles. Uh, but we're at a distance yet that I don't think a lot of it would hit us right off the bat. So Sigourney, continue. Please make it this time. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Now we have Utakeda, and we know his abilities, especially when there's a couple enemies uh, that close together. Uh, but right, right off the bat, he's not going to make it that far. So it may be that we uh, do a couple dashes and try to get you positioned, you, in order to do some of your magic. It's like we could dash you over here and then maybe get you into cover at some point, or we just bring you down kind of low to get you near, nearer where they would be. So as they move forward towards us, we're going to have a better chance to do some damage. So we're just going to relocate you down here. Why you stopped is uh, we gained sight of nothing new. I uh, think, I guess, uh, no, we can't jump through there. So that's, that's interesting to know. Interesting to note. We'd have to jump down here. Well, we're still out of sight down here, so this is where we're going to bring you. It's still got two-way cover. There we go. Sigourney, stay behind the wall there. Joe Murata come out to the front where we uh, think you're going to have a shot next time. And Robbie's also. Doesn't look like you have anything to do and uh, nobody's going to see you standing out in the open there. So you're done. There we go. There is some Disciple of Anu individuals out there. Two of them at this point. Here come the worms. We're aware of two for sure. The third one might be hidden. We have a siren out there too along the edge. Well, we got another one shooting worms is what it looks like. Thankfully, uh, it's worms and not explosives. Here comes the Umbra Man. Poor disciples of Anu, they're taking a hard... That, that poor guy regrets having moved out in the open like that. And we got some of these Tritons overwatching against potential advances. Well, you you got a worm right in front of you, so you, you'll have worm patrol. There's a couple worms above you. Uh, there's a worm right here, which we can bash and then turn around and blast down below. Um, let's start off with you. Let's do... A bash. And there's one less worm in this world. Uh, what kind of worms are we looking at? This one's poison. This one's fire. So we got a fire worm shooter and a poison worm shooter out there. Uh, let's go see what the acid weapon looks like as a shot on the big guy down here. And uh, I kind of, I kind of like it. I kind of think applying acid to all that armor is probably a good thing. I'm almost thinking about trying to rage burst this thing. Let's just see what this gun looks like as a for comparison purposes. Yeah, it's not going to kill either. I feel like a little rage burst. We have the will. And uh, it's going to shoot a little wide. So it's not going to probably do as much damage as, as you might hope, but we're going to do it. And 
it looks like we applied probably a pretty fair amount of acid. We also got a bleeding by 80 by doing that. That still means it's four turns away from bleeding out, but it's hurting and it may not even be able to stomp right now for all we know. So that that's pretty cool. And we still have a shot. What we could do is uh, war cry some worms, but we're gonna hang on and uh, do that last of all. So Joe, we got some guys overwatching and you have the ability to quick aim. But we're not paying you to quick aim worm, so please don't do that. Regeneration torso, he's not gonna disappear on us. He's the Umbra. Let's go, shall we get the Umbra to appear while he's far away from us? I'm kinda thinking that that wouldn't be a bad idea. It's just you, Takeda. I gotta have an answer for you, cause uh, we don't want you running Overwatch from a virus weapon. So let, let's finish off the Umbra, first of all. And the Umbra will appear soon enough. Yes. Now we have to have an answer for the virus weapon that's down there. And uh, let's see how we can do that. We've got Nikolai, good old Nikolai, uh, to help us out. And let's take a look at this siren while we're at it. It probably has mind con This is just a lowly psychic scream siren instigator. So what do you know? We don't have to worry about that one too much yet, especially at that distance. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to boom blast. Here goes. And we're going to take care of that virus weapon. That hurt, I'm sure. Uh, let's do it again. That was fun. That did some big time damage on this guy. Is this a kill blast? Basically... It is. The problem is, well, actually, his gun may be gone, so there is no problem. The Overwatch is gone. So, Yutakeda, you're free to go bashy bash, and the only one really near us, this guy died. So, there's not anybody super near us, so we're, we're, we're going to see about taking care of worms. Is there any way to get you up here? We, we do have to be aware of wherever we move. Uh, to get away from those worms that are gonna, going to come at us, that um, yeah, let's 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 just bash away. Um, I guess we will. We'll, yeah, it seems like such a waste, doesn't it? This one is the hands to use one. Yeah, we'll use the one-handed weapon. We don't need we don't need the the archy kill we're not in a position to kill more than one at a time anyway so let's go here and uh, bash away with what you call a little overkill we don't want to damage our ancient weapon here do we now And I think what we'll do is uh, we'll dash you over to this side. The enemies uh, would appear to be quite a few on this side of the map. And uh, that's the way we're going to move it, and that's the way we're going to play it uh, to get you a little closer. So let's do one dash. And let's decide, do we want to move you any closer? I'm thinking not. We're going to pop you back into three-way cover. for the moment. Ah, Sigourney, there's nothing else we can do you. It's not like you have quick aim or anything. Um, I'm not worried that the, the worms can't move far enough to get to anybody. They can't leap up. 
At least last time I checked, worms can't. And so we're, we're just going to end your turn without a war cry. We'll save the will. Now I think we're going to start rotating over. And here's part of our problem against this guy. Um, and he's barely alive. He's just lucky he's not bleeding. Or he would be totally <laughs> laying on the ground. Holy smokes. What kind of hit points does this guy have? 440. Yowzer. What kind of damage can this gun do? Um, piercing, uh, 25 by 15. Well, it's going to be cutting it close. Let's do a dash. Now, let's just see what this shot looks like. We can do a heck of a lot of damage. In fact, if we can do enough damage, then maybe we could run up here, activate him, and he would be able to finish him off. Maybe? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's do the shot. Uh, we'll kind of mess with his arms, legs, uh, and that area. And uh, now it becomes the question. I don't think he would be able to kill him. But I sure do hate the idea of leaving, them, he, leaving him there to die. But that looks like about exactly what's going to happen. So we're going to back you off, Sade. Uh, you're a smooth operator, but you're not that smooth to take out that kind of a hefty guy, that's for sure. Um, what we can do is relocate our sneaky Robbie Zasso to come down here and maybe also help us out coming up. So let's get you in a position. And I don't know what you saw that looks brand new. Oh, I think we, we can just see the other guy now instead of knowing that he's there. Well, let's bring you up here. And let's try a little of this action and see what kind of damage a hit will do for you with this. It does, it does real good damage. In fact, you got so much freaking will. We're gonna, we're gonna do that a lot right now. How about that? We like it. Now all of a sudden, now that we gave Sade a little support, her shot is not looking so ineffective anymore, is it now? <laughs> Let's get over here and kablammy. We just saved ourselves an Anu guy until there's something really, really close that we don't see that takes him out. So what do you know? Um, that's our turn there. Sade, stay smooth, stay safe, and let's see what happens. I can sense them. I didn't ask you to really move out into the open so you can die. Look at the hit points you have. My God. You're playing aggressive for having no hit points. Well, I'm feeling like whatever that one Disciples of Anu guy did, it was not very good. And the fireworms are going to chase down you unsuccessfully. Here come some more worms. And I think uh, that one's going to die. <laughs> if you were trying to mind control the siren, you failed. Okay, looks like we got some worms up on the up on the roof again with us. We're, oh, we, we got a visitor up high. Look at that. And a return fire missed with that weapon? Wow. Uh, we're going to come back up here and see exactly what happened to Joe Murata. Well, it doesn't look like much. It looks like you got hit, but maybe you didn't. You got all your health. I guess the living armor is better than we thought, or... Uh, whatever his weapon is, it did not pierce you. So let's find out exactly what his weapon is. 
virus that could be the living we the, the living armor uh, is better than heavy even so the virus apparently could not pierce uh, well guess what uh, we do have an umbra down here and it's an umbra that we're gonna have to worry about uh, but we have a slightly larger problem right at the moment right here and now up on the roof with us we have the will let's get firing at anything but a worm and we're not go for the umber right away no he'll stand up a little bit oh please there we go that's better let's go right there how did we miss you missed on your return fire too. We had that body part highlighted. I swear we did. How did we miss? It's highlighted. There we go. That should have happened the first time. Let's see. We got a bash job over here. We got a bash job right next to us. And uh, we have uh, a chance, although he's panicked, so we don't even have to waste the shot over here this turn yet. Um, let's try this. Can you run far enough to bash over here? Nay, nay. So maybe what we can do, can we see the Umbra from here? No, also a negative answer. Let's just get down here and, and blast this guy's away. Panic or not, it's about the only shot we can do at this point. <coughs> and uh, he'll be killable with one more shot now. Uticata. We definitely can play the bash game over here. Uh, but I'm also feeling like uh, maybe we try a little rapid clearance and give it a go with our weapons because uh, you got some pretty special weapons uh, we can kill this and how the, the question is going to be how many swings are we going to be able to get over there and if it doesn't work <laughs> what's going to happen to us uh, the other thing we can look at do we have any other support over here potentially P potentially yes But we have to get line of sight on the siren to definitely have that be a yes. And we have something right here, which very well is the Chiron. So we can always come out here with all Robbie Zasso's. So if we need to help help you finish that thing off, we, we, we do have an answer. we got a lot of will to be able to do it. Uh, so you, let's uh, spend the rapid clearance. All right, you, let's switch to the big stick. In fact, we'll put it front and center up here, the big stick. And uh, let's get dashing. Uh, let's dash right here, too. Stickify him. Gain some stuff back. Now we're only going to be able to come over here for one swipe. That's really not going to be enough on a siren. Uh, but we're going to play the game. Because we don't have to go right next to the lady, do we now? So if we came here... Do we reach her or not? There's a there's a question for you. I don't think we do. And we don't. Uh, so we do only get one swipe. So we might, uh, might as well come up close. And get a good bit of damage on her. Actually, we take her out. Look at that. You is powerful. You is amazing. That, 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 that's, that's something else. 
Uh, let's come over here. Now, the other thing we have to keep in mind is we have some um, we have an umbra that's just hanging out over here. Uh, fortunately, we're all very up high and far away from the guy right at the moment. And uh, th those of us that aren't are on the other side of the building. So that, that, that's our protection there. Um, let's bring you over here, Robbie Zasso. In fact, we're going to bring you right here so we can start uh, getting some damage and release this guy. And we have the will to try and do some damage if we choose to use it. Let's get Anu over here. I don't see any other... I'm not aware of any other enemy that can shoot this guy coming out into the open like this. Sure. Oh, shit. Let's go into the softest underbelly we can hit. That's pretty good. And why don't we play it safe and bring you into cover? Because you are hurting. Uh, we're going to then follow up a little bit here. Uh, we've got a lot of quick aim once again. Leading by 20. We're going to keep the quick aim parade going because we can. Hopefully, we won't have a need for you to do this yet again, Robbie. You got your last quick aim, and this is your kill shot. No more freaking worms. You're done. You're done. Uh, you, Takeda. I guess what we'll do is... Uh, how far, what kind of legs does this Umbra have? 26 movement, which is pretty damn good. Uh, so, uh, we're going to bring you up to the corner here. I will bring you over to these benches. That should be okay to, to keep a distance from the Umbra. And I'm not seeing anything new from that. Just a bunch of, we probably saw another worm that was temporarily hidden. And uh, Sade. Where's the best place we can bring you around? Uh, let's see. Stand by? No. Pick up some will on your way forward? Yes. Yeah, I'm just seeing worms, so we probably picked up vision on yet another worm. Happy to get some will back, and we'll have you running forward in case the Umbra comes over towards you. You'll be able to help us out. Uh, Nikolai, what we can do with you is we got a bash. And uh, we'll just shoot uh, a single, actually we probably can't shoot a single random grenade. We'll shoot a single random Let's rocket get this done. right over here, weaken this guy down a little. And we'll try reloading. Switching ammo. And coming to the edge. I've got a visual. And coming to the edge. <laughs> I'm going. The Chiron's probably going to bleed out at this point. Over there, I'm shocked. 
Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to clear out some worms because they're going to have to go before we're done with this thing anyway. Uh, you, I think we can uh, spend some rapid clearance. We can get over here, chain all the worms down on the ground right at the moment. And we don't have to worry about any more coming and that'll leave just one worm over in that direction. So let's get moving uh, this way. Let's pop the rapid clearance. And let's start swinging. got to do is come in here for this one and worm duty is complete uh, now if he came from here to here uh, for him to come all the way over here that's gonna be that's gonna be rough so I think what we can do is uh, bring you forward you Takeda And stand you right here. And I think what we'll do is we'll bring uh, Sade so you both can uh, operate smoothly together. She'll overwatch uh, with her shard gun against that guy moving towards us, kind of like this. And we'll bring uh, the Anu man as backup. I think the Umbra might be it. Now we're gonna just because it's empty ammo, we don't have to worry about the ammo. We're gonna we're gonna shoot it dead instead of letting him bleed out. And uh, can we hit? We cannot. Can we come over here? Do we have a position where we can hit that worm? Maybe potentially. But not this turn. Now oh, here we have a worm shot. Whoa, there's a second worm out there I missed. Somehow it says there, it brings me down to both the same worm. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, let's go get another shot on the Umbra. How about that? Let's quick aim. It's not a great shot. We'll do we'll do one shot. See if we can hit. We hit the pillar, but not the umbra. Now let's see if we can uh, practice up on the worm. Um, hello. Just just shoot. Oh, there's two worms in one. That's why it was showing that. The one worm was shielding the other worm. What do you know? What do you know? Um, Nikolai? Let's, uh, let's heal yourself. I'm tired of having you not full strength. Recovery. And let's shoot a rocket. There we go. Uh, we'll keep you right there. We'll reload because we got rockets to burn. And who have we got left? Robbie Zasso? Yeah. He, the Umber's not going to see you. Run all the way to the front, please. He's really staying out of sight, is he not now? Is he not? Oh, well, if he's going to play that game, we're going to play the Boom Blast game. Uh, we'll start with the rocket. Over here, don't pan back on me. 
We'll come short just so it doesn't go off the map edge. Now we got two more lovely grenades to plop out in that direction. And they may, they may, if we can reach, be enough. Yep, one more of those beauties, Here Nikolai. Goes. One more. And we got this Umbra. Dun, da, da, da. There we go. So those ancient weapons really, really make a difference. Let's hope it uh, applies the same way when we get to that final mission. Cross your fingers. All right, there we go. We did recover some items. Uh, Imhulu grenade and some more re uh, some Redeemer magazines. Uh, we, we, we don't even need the funds, but we got them. We got uh, goodwill and uh, peace on earth soon. Uh, we have failed to identify their origin. And uh, let's kind of just flop around the map real quick. Uh, we're going to see if uh, we can see anything that we need to react to or do. Uh, we don't even need to do that scavenging mission. Um, let me just kind of take a look and see where everybody's at. It's a lot of uh, ancient material gathering at the moment, which is important. And uh, we got these two just loosely flying around as we wait for the Exalted's Temple to finish construction. And it's over here in India. That's where we're all going to have to converge at some point, I do believe. Uh, for now, let's kind of hang out, guys, and see what happens while we're waiting for that thing to build. We did get, or we do have, I should say, a promotion uh, that we should probably take, take advantage of before we forget it. That's up to weak spot. We'll take it. And you could also add to your speed, which is not bad. Uh, we're just not going to dip into the pool to do it. Is there anyone else that has a promotion while we're, while we're looking? I would say no. Uh, so let's just advance the timer and see what pops up. finished another shard gun pandora nest has been discovered and revealed uh, let's go find out well heck it's right over near where we gotta go uh, so while we're waiting for things to build and uh, continue to or finish being constructed let's take our two vessels here and head over towards a nest got to keep ourselves busy in my mind doing something than just sitting around twiddling our thumbs let's go head over to a nest and what do we have? Phoenix, Alaska will be attacked by Pandorans. I'm getting the sense that Phoenix, Alaska is not going to be all that important for us to deal with. Um, what could we do if we wanted to? Uh, good question. What do we have? You know, we got a lot of mutagens. I, I'm thinking, let's let's take this. We, we we don't need the resources. Let's take this vessel here. Uh, let's, in fact, let's let's just go down to. Um, is it here? Well, how do, I, I'm not sure how to build one. Let's let's go find out. Let's go look in here first. You know, we got rec we got a recruit. We could we could throw over there and build really quick. Um, Oh, I know what it is. It's over here in manufacturing. If we take a look at our vehicles, la di da, 23 hours, uh, we probably wouldn't build one in time. I was thinking, ooh, wouldn't it be fun to just build one and plop that over there? Well, let's do it. Let's build one in Alaska in 23 hours, and we'll have one over here to help in our defense, and we'll get to play with one. That is, unless the final mission comes up too soon. This is something I've not done, so we're going to do it. Uh, the question is, which kind do we want to build? Uh, Agile Venomous? Agile Slasher? <sighs> I 
venomous regenerating slasher mutog they they all pretty much cost the same and i don't know which one would be better for whatever reason ramming ramming regenerating Probably ramming and regenerating is not bad since you'll you'll be kind of alone. So let's try this one, the Kaimanu. What the heck? 23 hours? And uh, does it give me a choice of where to build it? There's a question for you. Um... It'll come through here, but then where do I do I get a choice of where it's gonna go? That's that's what I want to know. Well, we're gonna build it anyway, and if it, if we don't have the option to have it be built over in our Alaska base, that would be that would be that would be horrible. Let's go find out. And if anything, we'll have it in our back pocket. And. Uh, who do we have on this ship? There's four of us there. We could easily fly over there in time. Do we have any vessel over in this direction? Not really. We'd have to fly something up, and that's a Tiamat. Tiamat. Do we have a faster vehicle anywhere nearby that's harvesting? That we could send up. Well, let's, let's do it this way. Well, that's way down here, but I think in 24 hours we could get up to Alaska. Uh, so let's, let's, let's set up for a base defense. We got all the supplies we need. As far as for ancient weapons. So uh, there's no need to sit there and wait. Let's get ready for a base defense. We got everybody moving now. Yes, we do. Nest or base defense. Looks like the nest will come next. Or will the exalted temple get built first? Um, I don't know why we stopped, but we did. Did we make it to our base? Oh, our first vessel made it there for our defense. The Jericho Haven is under attack. Where is this one? Well, uh, I think this one's going to fall. Because uh, we will not get over here in time. Absolutely not. Research complete. Okay, the Ugothian entity has uh, completed. Let's go see. We got some new research available. Finally, we knew our enemy. The Pandora virus was only a tool. It was the hand that wielded it that truly mattered. The creature we came to call the Ugothian entity. It was old perhaps older than the solar system itself. On Ugoth, the ninth planet, it lay waiting. For thousands of years, it slept in the outer darkness. But when Ugoth's orbit approached the Earth, it expelled the seeds of our destruction. Its mind reached out, haunting our dreams, infesting our stories. Its ultimate purpose was to transform our world into its own to recreate whatever long-lost abyss it had come from. Its creatures were already assembling a new body it could inhabit. And when they were done, when the Ugothian entity came to Earth, nothing could stand in its way. All right, creepy, creepy, know thy enemy. Finally, we have revealed the true enemy behind the Pandora virus, the Ugothian entity. For New Jericho, this is excellent news. Finally, a proper war with clear sides, and they know which side they're on. There's no more time for traitors or accommodationists. For Sinedrian, it's now a question of philosophy. Do they want to seize the master's tools and transform the world, or destroy this cosmic hierarchy and let things take their own course? The answer will have to be reached democratically. The Disciples of Anu have no official statement on any parallels between the Ugothian entity and their dead god. The liturgy of the divine flesh draws close, and they have more important things to focus on than the ravings of those trapped in ideologies of the old world. So they all become upset with each other here. And the 
world ticks forward. We do have a new research. What does it say? Centralized AI? What does that do? Let's find out. All base facilities output is increased by 50%. Well, I'll put it in the queue. Why not? Moon mission preparation. We'll put that in the queue. That's uh, the Sinedrian ending. Uh, but we're, we're, we're waiting for a temple to be built. I think that's the ending I, I've committed us to. And so we're going to continue. And we have made our first ship to the nest. Let's get our second one there. I need Jericho Haven is under attack. We got another one under attack. Right next to each other. Wow. This one, however, will defend itself because all their forces are so busy on this one. Wow. Crazy. Maybe when this one defends itself, we're going to find uh, where the facility is, the, the Pandoran structure, where the, the, the attack is coming from. We'll see. Uh, let's get over here to the nest. We got the second ship going for the base defense. Our Tiamats are just plugging along, res building or gaining the resources. And there is our nest that we're going to do next episode. Uh, it seems like we're just ticking along, uh, waiting for the final episode to become ready. I hope I'm not missing anything and I'm wasting time waiting for it to come ready. But that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. Uh, the nest next time. I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, we had a nice job with the Anu defense. This exalted temple is under construction. I wish I could tell by looking somewhere, somehow where it is in the process of being built if there was some way to tell 58 percent oh guess what there's a way to tell 58 percent is halfway constructed so now i at least know how to how to keep track of that um so join me next time where we we may have a base defense along with a nest just depends on how both pop up and and maybe we will finally get that last temple completed so we can move on to a final mission this is zigzag zog signing off from somewhere in this world i really am thankful for you guys watching this playthrough so far it's 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 pretty been pretty cool and fun for me to explore this game hope to see you next time